Today, I'm going to solve question 42. The question says the value of the resistance X in the circuit diagram shown is uh, these two resistor, resistor X and four ohm resistor are in parallel. Um, it's a three ohm resistor. We have an ammeter that read three ampere. Then we have the voltage source reading a, a, a value of 15 volts. Um, the, the information we can get from this uh, circuit diagram, first and foremost, um, B is 15 volts. The ammeter measures three ampere. The two resistors, resistor X and four ohm resistor in parallel. So we have to reduce that to become one resistor. And uh, in this situation, what I'm trying to say is this. If you consider the three ohm resistor, then we have one resistor known as RP, that the effective resistance of the two resistor in parallel will be referred as RP. Then the second diagram will take this shape. This is the ammeter. The ammeter three ampere, it's reading three ampere. This resistor is the effective resistance of these two resistors in parallel. The current that flows in the circuit I is three ampere. Let's find the total resistance of the circuit. From Ohm's law, I is equals to V all over R. In this situation, the current is given as three ampere. The voltage is 15. Effective resistance, R. We need to find the effective resistance. R to be 15 divided by three. That total resistance in the circuit will be 15 divided by three will give you five. That is five ohms. This is the effective resistance, the total resistance between this combination. These two resistors are in series. So you show that. So R is equal to three plus RP, the resistance, the effective resistance in parallel. This R is five. Five, three plus RP. Then we can make RP this subunit of formula. I mean, five minus three. The resist the effective resistance in parallel is two ohms. That means this was X and four ohms are in parallel to each other. In parallel to each other. So the effective resistance between one single resistor, the resistance is two ohms. Now let's find X. That should give us by using this expression one over x plus one over four. They are in terms of each other. You have to do this. We substitute the value. Substitute the value. One, our piece two, x, we don't know. So you make uh, one over x the subject formula. That will be one over two and of one over four. One over two and of one over four. Here the LCM is four, two, three into four is two, and you have here two minus one. If you express that, one over x is equal to one over four. If you cross multiply, that means x. It's equal to four, four ohms. So the resistance, the resistance of resistor X is four ohms from the calculation there. Question 43, question 43, 
is referring to question 42. The potential difference across X in the second diagram of question two. Thank you. The second diagram. Now that we know X, now we need to find the potential difference across X. When two or more components are connected in pair, they share the same voltage. So the, the potential difference across four ohms is the same as the potential difference across resistor X. We are going to apply Ohm's law. Once again, the resistance in parallel, RP, which we calculated, RP is two ohms. Apply Ohm's law. I will write this as the current is equal to the potential difference across the resistor in parallel and RP, effective resistance. The current flowing is the main current in, this, in the circuit, which is three ampere, three, VP is unknown. RP is two. So from here we can make V be the subject formula three times two, which is six volts, six volts. So question 43, the potential difference across X is six volts. Thank you for watching.